12 granddaughters and one great granddaughter. But what really disturbs me is my granddaughters and great granddaughter might be sleeping in a room with some boy someday because they're on the same team. They might be showering in the same shower someday with, with, uh, with boys because they're on the same team. That's disgusting in my book. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a strong yes on this bill. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seen, Senator McGilbert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to read uh, something that was sent to me. This is uh, by a young lady that testified in Utah at a hearing uh, similar to what we had on this bill a few weeks ago. She says the following. Uh, First time I raced against a biological male, I I remember feeling just bizarre. I felt like I was running with a giant. Not only was this athlete thicker, boned, and generally larger, but also reached a height well over six feet and towered over female athletes. I couldn't believe this was okay and deemed as fair. Then she went on. Racing against a biological male running as a transgender female is hard. When you watch her effortlessly pass girls, winning heats, and even crossing the finish line as if she ran a uh, as if she ran a winning heat, as if she ran, excuse me, moderate workout that makes you feel sick inside. It's a feeling that's hard to put your finger on. It's a mixture of anger, sadness, and even confusion as you wonder, how is this really happening? And she concludes, I'm proud to be able to fight for the opportunity for women to be able to compete on a fair playing field. I put myself out there because I truly believe that no woman should ever feel like they've lost before the gun goes off. It isn't just about losing a competition title or medal. This is about women losing years of hard work and even to some extent a piece of their identity. When women should be allowed to compete on a, play, a fair playing field, and I hope that you take advantage of the opportunity you have to protect and save women's sports. I urge you to vote yes on this bill. All right, seeing no further discussion with the sponsor, I'd like to close. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I would. Just a few comments here. We're talking about the money. Um, you know, what, what do we do for money? We got Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, and there are a lot of other state legislatures that are debating this same type of bill right now as we speak. We add Montana to it. It will send a message that uh, our women are worth a lot more than money. No one's going to be denied the opportunity to participate in sports because of this bill. There are men's teams and there's girls' teams. Vote green. The question now arises on the motion by Senator Regeer that, that when this committee does rise and report after having had in consideration House Bill 112, it recommends the same be concurred. As many as the motion vote aye, those opposed vote no. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change his or her vote? If not, the clerk will record the vote. Mr. Chairman, 29 senators vote aye and 21 senators vote nay. 29 senators voting aye and 21 senators voting no. House Bill 112 is passed second reading. Members of the Senate, please be in order. Members of the Senate, you now have before you House Amendments to Senate Bill 211. What is your pleasure, Senator Fitzpatrick?